Hi, this is Shadi. A few days ago, I went over the CJI footage of competition and I saw some amazing judo, very classical. Today, we're going to be doing similar things, but in ADCC. You see, judo, jujitsu, all of it is the same art, just expressed differently. And today, we're going to see the very classical elements of judo, even dating back to the 19th century being expressed in this year's ADCC. So we're going to be looking at Michael Pixley versus Nicola um, Meregali. So uh, it's a relatively short fight, a very time, very little time spent standing up, but still there are some gems that I'd like to unpack uh, for you because they're very reminiscent of a lot of classical elements. So at the beginning they were hand fighting and it looked like uh, Nicola was actually uh, dominating so what happens here is that they turn michael pulls him in and the moment he gets a hook is when he immediately turns his hips and he actually sweeps him cleanly for harai goshi now let's go back to the 1880s for a second and look at the nage no kata and you can see he lets go of the lapel hooks the shoulder turns as he pulls him in and then finishes with harai goshi very similar to what just happens and as you can see it's not a lapel grip but it's an underhook underhook and overhooks are a way to unbalance someone forward uh, pinning the shoulder down and pushing it forward each differ a bit but nonetheless they serve the main purpose they both have different types of control but it's always towards uh, pulling someone in and then unbalancing them and compromising their posture. So uh, this is exactly what happened. Again, for people who think kata are useless or they have nothing to uh, offer, I beg to differ. And here you can see the you take them in, you rotate, and then the throw is ready on its own. Now, uh, much like the CJI video, I got the idea for this video from X Marshall as well. Uh, if you don't know, X Marshall have worked with countless high level athletes and coaches. They provide high quality rash guards from the very minimalist print to the very detailed and colorful uh, designs. So you can choose from a wide variety. And also, if you are a competitor and constantly active, you can reach out to them and perhaps you can also represent them. Uh, as well there's countless offers in their website and also their link will be in the description for their social media as well as their uh, website so so now moving on um, the fight goes to the ground relatively long after that throw and nick uh, pulls guard and uh, here he tries to as we say wrestle up and then uh, michael immediately uh, breaks the hold of the leg and then ends up tapping him as you can see he injured his arm so he liberates his leg by holding his arm tightly and with full control and then rotates now nicola made the crucial mistake of posting his arm and that's a big mistake if you know a little bit about judo the first thing they teach you is to fall not to throw so let's take a look at some classic um, new wave judo by uh, satoshi ishii uh, olympic uh, medalist gold medalist and he is talking about here the defense for the single leg much like what we just saw so you hook the arm very tightly and then you cup your thigh making sure you let go of the grip and from there you can attack it can end as a harai goshi or uchimata uh, michael pixley was not very successful in the throw but still um, it was big enough to for nicola to post his arm outstretch it which is again a big mistake and ended up you know, injuring him and listen when you when uh, even the pros in judo sometimes post their arm out of fear the human instincts takes over or you want to avoid the score but stretching your arm is a very big mistake sometimes we post our elbows close to our ribs we want to avoid the score even here you see the great in a way falling for it and posting that's very dangerous by the way and still again it happens but outstretching your arm fully don't do it just 
lose the fight it's way better and let me tell you a little story falling is not only upper body and posting your arms but also your lower body i was in the uh, kata seminar in the kodokan two years ago for uh, trying to get my black belt and uh, my uke it, we were drilling so it was two hours friday night and then uh, the whole day saturday from 10 uh, a.m to like 7 p.m something very long and then the whole sunday morning we prep and then we present in front of the jury so the last repetition on sunday he i was doing ippon seoenage he falls he does not like open his legs as you should usually he kept them close and everything between his legs was completely shattered he got injured and the next day he came he they asked him are you good can you do it etc and uh, we tried a bit he couldn't they gave me another uke shorter and much bigger at the very last minute so it was it was a it was a very nerve-wracking day for me but the other kid had to sit that one out with an ice pack uh, on his groin so guys learn how to fall again trying to avoid the score that's normal but you have to think about it each situation is different uh, I was tucking that elbow thing that Inoue was doing the Japanese even told me when we were in practice, they told me, just take the fall. It's training. Um, also, you will help your partner feel the throw better if you uh, take it fully and roll out and fall safely. So if it's not competition, don't try to do anything stupid in training and uh, tucking your elbow or even stretching out your arm. There are some gruesome examples on the Internet. Please stay safe. Uh, don't forget to check out X Marshall below and my book. This was Shady, and thank you for listening.